Hmm? We got to be careful, family, and recognize and know the blessing when it comes. So are we really prepared to enter the land? I have one answer unequivocally, no. We're not ready. We're not ready. What? So then ask ourselves today, fast and forward, what will it take to get ready? What do we need to be ready to enter the land? Help me out. What? First and foremost, have faith in the most high. We need faith. And by the commandments to love. If we get that connection for Israel to love one another as you love yourself, so that will bring us faith and love. What else do we need? Come on. Endurance. We need endurance. Endurance. Discipline. So with endurance, that means it's going to take some time. So that means you got to have some patience. We have to endure. We have to endure. That means patience, right? How long we got to wait? I only got three hours here. How, how long we got to wait? <laughs> it's not going to happen in a day? It's going to time. It's going to time. So it may take a minute. What else we going to need? We need some discipline. We need some love. How do you tell me? How do you get faith? Can, can you just give somebody faith? How you get faith, Calvin? How you learn about faith? What is it to believe? Hmm? By the word of God. Reading the word of God and believing. Can you give that to somebody? I don't believe in the word. How, how now what? Now what? What do you say to me? Open the book. Open book. So it's, it's stages, right? It just don't happen overnight. You tell somebody, believe! Believe what? You're in the same boat with me. Your, your, your change is shining a little bright. What you want me to believe in? You sitting here next to me. It's a process. Right? But it starts where? In your mind. Right? Are you free? How many free people I got right here? Okay. Got some of you got two hands up. I'm sort of free. And I quit. Free, free, but I, I'm getting in. Yes. Ooh. So you need to work on that, right? Wow. Wow, wow. That's a big statement. How do you know? How do you know? We you know they talk about today a lot of so-called mental illness. Is that real? They they not they not you you're not mentally right. You know, you, you need you need you need some help, right? To get mentally ready to be free. I said, do you feel like you're free? You know, I don't see no change on your neck, on on your legs, and shackles. So you're not physically enslaved, but you're saying mentally there's something still holding you. Something you still want to hold on to. Can we break those chains and become thinking and not so much freedom, right? Because Yah gives us free will to do good or do evil. What do we run to most of the time to do? We run to do evil. You got free will. I'm free to do that. I'm free to run and do all this evil. So you got to be careful with just freedom alone. Why yes. Is that? Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Yes. Woo! Come on, help them out. We got experienced people here. Why we run to evil? Why? Why? So what's wrong with the good? Why did you run into the good? Ah. Uh -huh. Why is it harder? Why is it harder? Help them out. You know, you have that choice. I got apple pie in my left hand. Huh? That's called it truth. That's called it truth. You know, you got to make these decisions Come now. On. Come on. Come on. Now, you got a coat of Deerus, homemade banana whipped cream pie, freshly made over here. 
Then you got some hockey dolls on this side, huh? Strawberry, banana boat. With cherries on top. What are you gonna choose? You got <laughs> The cherries gonna get you every time, right? Woo! Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, this this is the instance of the missing point, if you will, in that, in that this is what you understand. These forces, there's different forces, and this force is always pulling them. And recognize, right? This is where you are so important, and your job, right? Who are you up against? You ever heard the phrase, the devil don't sleep? He don't rest, right? So what? Does that give you a day off? Huh? This is a constant battle, right? And you know it's going to be. So now, you are intelligent. But guess what? Evil is intelligent too. So it's a battle, right? Right? How smart. Don't be fools. See, I, I use this phrase, he's a, he's a, what they call an evil genius. He knows how to make poison taste good. Well, is that ingenious? Huh? He can make ugly look beautiful. He is the master of deception. See, that's when you're talking about what you're dealing with. If you look a little deeper, if you look a little bit under the hood, see, we, we fall for the okie doke, right? We fall for the flash, bling, bling, bling. But we don't take the time to look a little deeper. Just look behind the curtain. You see it's the Wizard of Oz. But we don't think, we don't, we, you're right? We're so quick. He's playing on your emotions, right? But this is why you have to have that discipline. Let me, let me just ask a couple of more questions. Oh, see? When you ask just a few more questions, then it'll be revealed to you. But when you're so gullible, you're caught up in the You don't ask no questions. Just here, eat this. Here, take that pill. Here, take this shot. You ain't asking no questions. And then when you're feeling out the answer after the fact, oh, see now, you done by, got bit. You know, it's that whole allegory, allegory where a, a, a lady saved the snake. The snake was wounded. Got the snake, caught it back home, fed the snake, washed the snake. Got so good, had the snake sleeping up there with him. Come on now. And you know what happened in the story, right? One day the snake... Why you bite me? I just did all this. I'm a snake. You didn't know when I was a snake. But no, Rabbi, yes. I hear you, but for us, we've been here. Yeah. Yes. We are blessed by the Most High having us in the family. Yes. And giving us the Torah. Yes. Okay, there are examples and illustrations. That's right. Of good and evil. That's right. There you go. There you go. That's it. And this is why you're commanded. I always ask the question to these young folks. Do y'all know the Ten Commandments? You ever try Do you know the Ten Commandments? They struggling with the Ten Commandments, my Lord. I ask you, what's the Fifth Commandment? I don't know the Fifth Commandment. Honor! 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 Who? Honor! When you're looking for your instructions, if the families are broken, unfortunately that's what we have, they're not getting the teaching to tell them, that's wrong, don't do that! When's the last time you had to, and that's, that's where the love, the boy mentioned the love, it's hard to tell people the truth! Huh? If you love me, don't lie to me! You know that's not good for you. Don't lie to me. Don't tell me to go ahead and do it. And look the other way. Should I go here? 
the, the immediate answer is no! But you love them, go ahead. You ain't, you ain't letting them love like this. You ain't doing them no good by telling them go ahead and do it. Well, you know that's the wrong thing to do. Thus says you, you shall not do this thing. Now, you done did your job. After that point, you done let it be known you did your job. Now, whether they here or for there, you already told them. Now, if they go on and do it, you can't say, well, nobody told me. That's where the strength comes in, right? Amen. That's where it's going to actually do some work here. It's work. You know the old phrase, this beating going to hurt me more, it's going to hurt you. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now, if y'all know some parents know exactly what I'm talking about. It hurts to bring out that belt. Huh? Get all over here. Woo, but that's love, right? Because you already know, you can already see the end. If you don't, it says if you spare that rock. Woo! Your street got some form, I'm telling you. Street, you'd rather be disciplined in this house than get out there and learn the street's discipline. Because they don't take hold no prisoners. So it's, if you got true love for your children, you're going to teach them. In love. Right? And they will see, not just beat your child, beat them. That's not love. Just to be hitting on your child. Educate them. Hit them in the mind is what you need to hit them. Let's sit down. Let's just reason together. That's not what this prophet said. Let's reason together. Let's open this book. Let me explain to you why I'm telling you this is not a good idea. And then this would be a better course to take. It may take you longer. I'm telling you. You want to get this? To go to a, a normal, it says four year college. That's four years. I don't want to go to college. It takes too long. Four years? It's not a long time. The dedication. The reward that comes from that four years. Anybody testify what I'm talking about? Hello? And that's just the beginning. Then you try to get the masters and the what? The doctorate degree. Keep going, don't stop. That's the road, let's just say less travel. Everybody wants things easy. Give it. You get what you put out. You got to work. That's what I said. You gotta put, you got faith. Put it into work. Show me. You want this? Do you really want this? Then you got to put in the time, not just praying about it. But you got to have to open up those books. You got to pull out your hair. Huh? My, my Isha, Queen Dirk, can tell you, my hair's getting light up here. Because I'm still in the books. <laughs> still got to put. You don't ever stop going because you get older. Huh? We are in that state. So, in this week's portion, y'all. Didn't give up on us, did he? He said, that generation there, that one there, though, will not see the day, the light of day in, in the promised land. That one won't make it. But those children now, who, they still got time. They still have hope. I'm still here for Yisrael. Hmm? I, I still have faith in these children that they can what? Turn around. And not follow after their fathers and mothers that went astray. That didn't discipline them. That didn't correct them when they needed correction. I'm not giving up on them. It's a funny thing when you become a parent yourself. And you have children. You may have been single and you're wild and you're doing all that. But when you have children, then the responsibility flips on you, right? Then you look at it a little differently. You know, and how you now got to take care of someone and teach them. So we start, when do we start teaching? From the womb to when? The tomb. We don't ever stop. But you have to start it at that age. That's why we pray for our children today. You know, if you really love your children, you start them at an early age and teach them the right from wrong. Now, if you don't know right from wrong, what? We got a little bit of a problem, right? Big problem, right? 
If you're hanging out to 2 o'clock in the morning and you got a baby, we, we got a little bit of a problem. Let, let me, let me, you know, this is how you help others, right? Don't embarrass them, right? Take them to the side in private. Cause let me, let me talk to you for a minute. You see how you help? This is how you heal and bring the people from off the brink. You know, let me, let me talk to you. Come over my house for Shabbat. Let me stay a word. You see how you help spread that love? Showing them an alternative. Hey, you don't do just do it overnight, right? Boom. In stages, you help them, lead them, introduce them to Yah. And I would say this. How you introduce them to Yah is not through the book. Do you know what I said? It's not here. Here, read this. That's not how you introduce them to you. Anybody know a better way? What you got? You are the light. Hallelujah. You are the book. They're looking for an example. Be the light. Be the book. Don't tell them read this page. Come on. Yes. Yes. And I'll tell you, I don't have to. I have to be by example. There you go, Israel. Right. So you Boom. Know, tell the children, you know that 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 uh, love one another. Right. I tell them turn to each one of your classmates. Come on. Say, I love you. Right. You must love. And like love. love is what? Not a noun, but what? Don't tell me. Show me love. What does love? This is the problem. It's so abstract. Blessings and uh, what does love? What is love? Can we show love? How do you show love? Do you know it when you see it? When you hear it? Can you taste it? See, we got to make this real, family. It's too many abstract thoughts. Love. You can see it. Hugs, kissing. How you talk to me. You cursing me out. Every four words is a curse. How is that a blessing? Do you follow me? That's that we have to re, re, regroup, right? Get it, get it, get it straight. How we demonstrate. You have to show love to get love. If you're truly really good parents, don't ever yell at their children. Right? Because they taught them at a young age. Discipline. My mama just gave me one little quick eye. That was it. That's all I needed. Because you know what came after that, right? Just that look, the eye, they say nothing. Just... And they looked at you more than two seconds, you in trouble, buddy. What happened to those days? Did that change? Did those laws change? As far as I know, they never changed those laws. But we have changed and allowed behaviors that are not allowable. Come on. Oh, they do? Yes, indeed. Absolutely. And that's, and that's why it's in the book. And that's why it's in the book. And what do we see in this week's portion? What did y'all say about Esau's land? Oh, yeah. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> is that what he said? Yeah, he did. Adon Raphael, I give you the world's famous, the one and only, the best Elohim. He's required. Hallelujah. Come on. Give me one second to go live again.
Now listen. There ain't no room for the whole Yeah. 
Was that all right? Was that all right? You got your praise in. Woo! Can't have a shout out without a little praise. Is that right? They can make a joyful noise. I can testify. We made some noise in here today. Hallelujah. What you say, Emma? We are not complaining. We are grateful. Hello. So much. That's right. Every every breath I take, huh? Every step, every breath I take. Hallelujah. For it didn't have to be, is that? So great, so great to be here. And again, as as a benefit, as a bonus, we're not gonna hold you long. I know it's it's little humid in here and, and hot. We want to get and, and really enjoy the Shabbat prayerfully, I would say. I'll be presumptive that you have enjoyed the Shabbat to this point, gang. Yeah. It has been beneficial to you, gang. It has been, I would say, restorative, gang, and restful. This is the purpose of this day. You should get those, those basic five things in. Get some rest on the Shabbat. Right. Get some praise in. Thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. What am I missing? Get some prayer in. That's right. Am I missing something? What else we got to do? Get some thanks in. Get some thanks in there. Meditation. We got some prayers in there. What else we need to do? Meditation. Get some meditation. Woo! Take some time. Like I said, you got to stop. You know, Shabbat means what? Cease. That you can actually, you know, if you will say, let me catch my breath. You know, you're running, 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 running. Can I catch my breath? In order to do that, what must you do? Stop. Breathe. Huh? Get those deep breaths in. You know, I used to love, we used to do, you know, where we at. We're not, you know, we're not too far from the water. Yeah, I know that, right? The beach ain't far. Rockaway ain't that far away. You know, we used to go to Rockaway. At, at the sunset, huh? Shabbat, you ever been to the beach? Oh, yeah. The sunset of the Shabbat, huh? If you haven't done that, yes, that one right there. That's right, Jamaica Bay. Make a beeline right after you get out of service. Head on out. If you haven't done it, I'll just give you a suggestion. Sunset, Shabbat on the beach. If you're that closer to the water, it's an experience like none other. To hear the crushing waves coming across the rocks of the wash. Huh? You, you smell the ocean water? Huh? I'm taking making you see making you homesick again, I know. I know it ain't good as Jamaican Bay water, but you know, that's the closest we that's the best we got. But yes, it's an experience even just walking on the seashore. You know, put your foot in the water. Huh? Don't try to walk on the water. I'm, don't do that. But you can put your foot in the water and let the waves. Huh? Listen. Shabbat is like on the other days of the week. You eat the best food on the Shabbat, is that right? <laughs> you know, that's the one day I can get the Isha to actually cook a meal. Go on the Shabbat! <laughs> you know I'm just jiving. But that is the best. Meal of the day, that Shabbat meal. Woo! It's supposed to be a delight. It's restorative. And by the way, can we learn something on the day? Yes. Can we learn something on the Shabbat? But what are we supposed to learn? We can learn many, we can study all kinds of subjects. What do we seek to learn on the Shabbat? Help me out. God's why did he say? Because I already blessed him. Everybody has their portion. Don't be jealous about what other people are doing. Esau is what? Whether you want to know it or not, believe it or not, Esau is your brother. He don't look like you. I know he's red and hairy. That's your brother. And he don't act like he's wild in that stage. But he matured. See, people have a chance to change. So we don't Except what? Bad behavior. Let's not get it twisted, right? Don't accept bad behavior. 
Yes, that's my brother, but I'm not going to accept bad behavior. So that, that's where we got to make you the line. And especially if it's your children or not. This is a nation. We are a family. I should be able to correct your child. You should be able to correct my child. Huh? Why? Because we in this together. Old days, you got a beating. And they went home, you got another beating. Is that right? Because that's that family love. Because you embarrassed your parents now. Now you're going to get beaten for that. I raised you better than that. You see, this is what we got to get back to. True love, family. Not letting this wickedness run like fire. Like fire. That's what happened. And it's an illusion. It may look fancy. It may look fly like this. It's an illusion. And when you really analyze it, you find out it's outright wicked and evil. So we find ourselves doing unrighteousness. Disguised. Right? But that's where your role models are. I'll end on this as the point this portion talked about. I need you to what? Appoint show team. We live in this age of society talking about, you know, unconditional love and no judgment and this, 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 this. Where does that come from? Obviously that's anti-Torah, what you're talking about, because y'all told us appoint judges. If you want to maintain any order, right? You hear this talk about defund the police. Oh, no. Oh, no. The police. Hallelujah. The order. When something go down, who are you going to call? Right. Okay. We need officers. Yeah. We ain't going to have no disorder running around here. Because we know you're going to be tried. Got Your children will try you. What they not? They're going to test the water. And we're going to find out what dad going to say now. Let me come out late. Come home late. See if he's going to say anything. If you are careful, if you watch and you know your children, you know their voice. Right? You hear when they speak. And you, you, you're you so close to your children, you even know their spirit. You know you did something. Mama already know it. Can smell it on you. Where you been, boy? Hmm? You start to hear words and creep up. What did you just say? Now you know they've been messing around with somebody. What did you just say? Who are you hanging out with? You can hear the voice. You know it. Because when you're with Yah, right? When you're clean, right? When dirt comes around, it stands out. You should not be comfortable around the devil. Huh? If you don't smoke, can you hang out with smokers just sit on down in the smoking room? You, <laughs> I don't smoke! It's immediately, it's going to cause an effect. So again, when you, get your children, anybody in the environment that you come into, you're immediately going to be hitting these spirits that are going to be coming. And you're going to pick up that spirit. Unfamiliar spirits. Hmm? That's what we try to teach our children. To recognize, because they have that curiosity, do what? It killed the cat. Let them know. Don't follow after this. We don't do that. Let them do that, but we don't do that. They want to change their hair and all this stuff. Let them do that. We don't do that. They want to wear all this skanky stuff. We don't do that. We respect ourselves. We respect what comes out of our mouths. We respect what we wear on our bodies. Huh? What we put in our mouths, right? We have a standard which we live by. Now they have a different one, and that's that's all right for them. That's all right. But in this house, Amen. what we gonna do? What we gonna do in this house? Judges, leaders. What kind of leaders? It says not just anybody because you're old, huh? What kind of leaders are we looking at? Right. How do I know? The Lord's commandments the he says that they are known in the camp. I got to, you have to have some record of what you've done to show that you are worthy to be considered a leader. I didn't see your works. You have these what? Facebook leaders. Huh? They ain't never seen no work in day in their life. Some real work. You know what I'm saying? 
We need people that are known to actually do the work, that are recognized. It says they have to have da'at, knowledge, but not just knowledge, because people know a lot of things, but what? Wisdom. Hmm? Kachma. It says, nashim kachamim. Wise. What does that mean? Is everybody wise, my daughter? Is everybody wise? How do you get wisdom? Can I buy it? I can't buy it. Get started in knowledge. Is knowledge different than wisdom? Yes. How is it different? It is knowledge being put into practice because wisdom. No, I got some. I got some battle scars. I can tell you about the, the story. Now I, I've been out in the battlefield. I can tell you about it. Wisdom, see, and that does come with time. That's usually it is the, the hoary head because they've lived longer than forty years. They can tell you something. Yes. 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 Wisdom. In the sight of the nations. So this is where we at, fam. You, family. How many, just real quick, how many leaders do I have here today? Two? Three leaders. I only have three leaders? Huh? Four leaders. I want you to know, every single person in here is a leader. Now, if you didn't see that, nobody told you, now you know. You are a leader. And whatever level capacity that you are. You are the leader of your house. If you have a house, you lead your house. Yeah, I said there's levels of leadership, right? Leaders of tens, fifties, hundreds. So you may not lead a hundred people, but you are a leader nonetheless. If you are a leader of two, just you and your wife, you will lead that family. In what way are you going to lead them? In righteousness. See? And as you do that, guess what happens? You graduate. And now you're leaders of ten. You're leaders of hundreds. You're leaders of thousands. Do you see yourself? But you have to believe it, right? You have to know this? your position, where you are. So this portion broke it out. This, one? this is when we're going to make leaders, right? We're going to be distinguished in the faces of the nation. You back? stand out. Everybody's going to the right. You're going to the left. They're looking at you like you're crazy. Who's so the crazy? He's very, he's very passionate. So, like, sometimes, like, this... You stood for who? You stood for Yah. If you're not for Yah, I'm not standing with you. I don't care what party you with. See? We we got to be clear. We're in a transitory state, right? We, are, we know we're in this land. We have to have wisdom. We must, at some point, become what? Self-governed. Is that correct? We cannot be under another nation and live with, according to these laws and statutes of judgment. So we, at some point, when we get to the promised land, we'll be self-governed in righteousness. So that we can, evil, it, says, it says, put a fence around the Torah so we can keep the evil out of the camp because it's going to come. I'm telling you, they're coming. And usually coming, creeping about after 12 noon, that's when they kind of creep out at night. That's when you got to have your eyes and ears open. Who's creeping at night? Where are you going? What is it out there that's so attractive to you at 3 o'clock in the morning? What is it? When you get to the answer to that, then you, you, you're going to clear up a whole lot of mess. They're going to be in the house at a certain time. And then we'll get to other stages where we become and entertain who? Ourselves. Stop looking for the other nations to entertain us. We can entertain Right, so hallelujah. hallelujah. Establish order versus the strange fire that we see in the nation. You have the power, Mr. Right you have the power, family. Have that faith be in Bene Emuna. Choose life, choose Yah, choose righteousness any day, every day, for who we Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve.
guess what? Okay. We'll do it all again. Yeah. 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 So with that, we want to close out family with the announcements. We're going to have Kiddush up here. Collective Tech Norfolk to be before we have the announcement for today. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. The most important uh, announcement right now is the fast tomorrow. We're fasting on the 9th of Av, and it is the second destruction that was in the to bring our awareness in our calendar to fast and to read the scriptures in the book of Exodus. And uh, with that, I say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. All right. Uh, uh, any other community announcements? Uh, oh, special. 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 Okay. Uh, the only thing I want to say is that what we would like, Raphael and I, is that we, we understand the sick concerns of a lot of people here, and make sure that you get the fire and stuff like that. What we would like for you to do Nobody touch any of the cords or the wires, okay? Because sometimes your attention is good, but sometimes it's not wrong. Because, you know, that makes it feel like So, uh, All right. so <laughs> Raphael, Raphael and I will take care of, of the safety here, okay? So, thank you very much, Alice. Did you have a little office yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Here we go. Now we're ready. Continuing this Ruach HaKodesh. We got you out before 3 o'clock. You got five hours to your leisure. Enjoy the Shabbat. And make it a blessed one. And be a blessing to someone else. We close out on page 314, 414. Heal Israel, the eternal power, the eternal one. Shema